longer body than legs, very hard to shoot and take down. So Sherbish has got his work cut out. He's a long fight, long game strategist. So Sherbish better be prepared to go five hard rounds. This is a championship bout at bantamweight. The contender, Sebastian Sherbish, and the defending champion, Anton Racic. Poland v Croatia. Referee Thomas Bronda. Just to remind you that uh, commentary team here, Vanders, Hookstra, and Sojinski. One of five. Take a look at the strategy. I think for Pshurbish, it's got to be not accepting the positions he was caught in last time. He needs to show that he's taking a step up here. Not accepting playing in the guard, for example, because that's a one-way ticket to a loss after 25. For Rajic, you know, it's do what he does. It's get those things going up against the fence, whether it's the takedown, the clinch. It's all those waist down, takedown techniques. That's his bread and butter. And no one's got an answer for it yet. You know, Maciej Kowalski talked about it in the buildup. No one has been able to stop this guy. It's effective fighting. Yeah, so far it started up really nice. Both these guys are so light on their feet and so quick. I mean, that overhand right from Rajic just missed as well, so. Really exciting start so far. Well, you look at the build of Anton Racic, and you know, uh, he is a diminutive fighter, but it's the, the dynamic of his build, that longer torso and the short legs, it almost makes it impossible to shoot for a takedown. You know, and um, the physiology is important of a fighter. And um, you can see Sherbiz is having to go down in height himself, which exposes him to a takedown, which of course Rajic is perfectly capable of doing. But Sherbish is having to fight down here. Rajic, all his opponents are going to be bigger than him, so he knows exactly what he's got to do. The game plan stays the same, and um, unless you know Sherbish can land some big shots early and maybe soften up Rajic to take him to the ground, then I don't see really what he can do against this fighter that grinds you down over five rounds. Yeah, there's no surprises as to what I think Sherbish needs to do and needs to avoid, and conversely, what Rocic would like to implement. That's a given going into one of these fights. And a given looking at how much Sherbish has uh, shown a, an aptitude for striking. He's a very, very um, intelligent, movement-based guy now. He's evolved a lot. He's changed a lot since that first fight. Rajic told me during his uh, during our interview a few weeks ago that he really wants to showcase his hands a little bit more. Uh, he's he's kind of tired of winning fights via decision, and he wants to showcase and show the world and showcase doubly that he's a, he's a finisher as well, not just a not just a champion, but actual finisher as well. That's good right there. It's nice right. He already looks a lot more, um, I think, comfortable with the in and out and the kind of little dance that's happening here. That Sherbage is really conversant in. It's the stance swapping, for example, of Sherbish that can be confusing for guys. And so far, Rocic has landed, I think, there for the third time. A nice right. Yes, it's yes, good. Yes. Especially when it's open stance. Especially when it's southpaw orthodox, which you're seeing here. When Sherbish is going uh, left foot forward and Rocic, or excuse me, his right foot forward and Rocic is left. Uh, Rocic, Rocic is doing really well. He's stepping in on that overhand. So he's, he's nice and deep so he can land that overhand. He's not, not missing with it, but he's actually landing it. And that's a penetrating step for a takedown, yes. if nothing else. Oh, nice. nice. Short right. So a championship bout scheduled for five rounds. It could be a very grueling and tough night in the office for both fighters. Sherbish has come to do business, he's come to take the crown. Racic will hang on to it with every ounce in of strength in his body. So it's going to be a real, real matchup here of two very hungry fighters. Nice kick straight through the middle there from Sherbish. Yeah, good dig from Sherbish. Well timed. Racic didn't even have a chance to catch it. There we go, and the right. That right has landed. That for me, oh, nice chuck hook there from Sherbish. I believe he was left foot forward, so it would have been chuck hook. Rochich's round, I think, so far with those rights that he's yeah. landed. I would say the striking is straight. Stand up battle with the hands, definitely Rochich's, but the body kicks to the liver side from, from Sherbish are, are you can leaving a mark on Rochich's body. You can see that nice and red. You know, That's those a good things feel. hurt. Touch the gloves to show it, too. Sherbish switch hitting. 
predominantly southport, but he does throw the left in first, and, uh, just to confuse Rachic, but uh, southport plays orthodox here. Nice short knee from Sherbish. It's that rear tool. You know, you got to use those. It's the rear uppercut. It's the rear knee. When a guy's coming in straight in to shoot on you, there you go. He showed it again. Very unique styles, too. Wine has his hands down kind of all over the place, whereas Ratchet keeps him nice and high right by the chin. Very contrasting styles of fighters. So almost on the bell at the end of the first. It's been a sparky outing. Nice round. Very nice round by both. In this bantamweight championship bout. Contender, Sebastian Scherbis, defending champion, Antony Rachic. I'm loving this stance swapping. That's worked really well, I think, so far for Scherbis. Trying to keep his back away from the fence. And I was liking the right hand from Rachic. And I was liking the, uh, the left kick and the left knee from Scherbis when he's southpaw. I definitely agree with you on both those points. There we go, he just flashed it again. He's gonna keep that coming out because that will really make Rancic think about bull rushing in. Because like I said, in the walkouts, he's gonna take him down from the waist down. You know, I don't really see Rancic playing too much judo, for example, in a chest-to-chest -chest position against Sherbish. Might happen, though. Yeah, it might happen. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a battle of who takes center, notice. Whoever's taking center is winning the fight in this round. Same thing in the first round as well. Since whoever was leading, whoever was, you know, pushing his opponent back is the one that's winning the fight. And the same thing's happening here. Right now, Pshibish is taking over the center. And that's why he's winning the fight. Nice, nice, nice right hand right there. So Sorry, there left is, hand, my apologies. There is some breaking news here tonight. And our main event has had a massive change. Stepping in literally on just a minute's notice to replace the Seleganese wrestler, the Bombardier, is Serbia's Nikola Milanovic. He goes in tonight, literally having driven to this event just an hour before the start, to take on Mariusz Pudzianowski to give us our main card fight. Well, it's going to be a dust-up because we saw Nikola Milanovic just doing a warm-up and uh, he's got the judoka experience, but the size is going to be a big matchup there. And also, uh, for your information, the KSW app is available on iOS and Android, and you can stay up to date with the KSW world, read exclusive content, and watch KSW events live. And don't forget the KSW shop for your official KSW merchandise at kswshop.com. Join in the conversation online with KSW Twitter at KSW underscore MMA and tweet at hashtag KSW56 hashtag. All right, that's the social media out the way. Back to the action. Much better round here for Pshirbish. He's really fine, I think, his timing and uh, all of the kind of key tells of when he needs to throw those techniques, which we saw some success with in the last round. I think the left kick, for example, has found the mark. It definitely, those body kicks, you can even see uh, Rachic breathing heavier every time every time Shibish lands to his body. Um, and it looks like Shibish has really figured out his opponent's striking game. You know, he's, he's cutting the angles, he's switching stances, he's in there, he's countering everything that Rachic is throwing at him. I think it's time for Rachic to start using his wrestling a little bit more now, setting it up, getting, getting at that takedown, at least a shot in to see he can get throw his opponent off his game right now. Tough ask though when you're kind of out of the, the wheelhouse that is up against the fence. Usually he's up against the cage. And he hasn't been able to get that here. If you notice, usually in the in, in Antoine fights, he's always taking center from most of his opponents. He's always the one that's pushing the pace. Well, in this fight right now, Pshibish is pushing the pace quite a bit. And that's why uh, Rachic is not, you know, he's backing up and he's not getting his shots like he normally does in all his fights. Is it a hard night for the champion tonight here? So far. I agree. He's done this before though, Rachic. He's been the underdog going in and uh, been under pressure, but uh, clawed it and pulled it back. And, you know, the physical attributes he has at this weight for this kind of bout are just second to none. But Sherbish has done his homework. And I think Sherbish said, I'm not a boy anymore. You're going to be fighting a man. He's certainly grown. And this is a great performance. He's really got the number of the champ. He's slipping shots and he's enjoying it. And uh, so is Rajic actually, and that's great to see. They've prepared for this. I mean, and it's pan off. 
right now, especially since he's found his rhythm in the second. You have to think, I mean, it's not an easy thing to train like that all the time. That's a trick you gotta train for. Who do you have that can replicate Anton Rachic in the gym? Especially during COVID. Notice, once again, whoever's taking center is winning the round. And Rachic did that for, you know, about 30 seconds of this round. He was winning that center battle. But now Pribish has it back again. And you can see him leading every single exchange as he's leading the, the center of the ring. Ten second clap at the end of the round. There's the takedown from Rajic. It'll be too little, too late. Sherbish defends it, gets back up on the wire. And that's the end of the second. There's a double incentive here for Sherbish. He's looking to avenge that blemish, the loss on his career. And obviously there's a title belt up for grabs. But you can't write off the champion or a champion this early in the fight, although I think it's a tough night in the office for Rajic, and he's getting caught. So, uh, you know, he needs a strategy here. What do you think Rajic needs to do at this stage? Um, get in the clinch game a little bit, start wearing his opponent out a little bit. His opponent's too comfortable. You, you can see the confidence in Shibish. Rajic needs to get in the clinch, wear his opponent down a little bit, use that wrestling game of his, but looks like he just wants to stand up and show the world that he's got his hands. Do well, you know what's interesting? I'm seeing the midsection of Anton Rajic start to glow a little bit red. And uh, Shibish is throwing those shots in there at will. So he's dropping the hands of the champ, which is leaving him open because Shibish has got the ability to bring up the kick. And um, yeah, he is a complete striker, but he's defending any attempt from Rajic to uh, go for a shoot and have a successful takedown. How do, you, how do you stop a cardio machine? You know what I mean? You hit him to the body. It's, 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 it's just just natural way of slowing down somebody is by taking it to the body, taking it to the body. And Sherbish has done a really good job of doing that. Sherbish is doing a fantastic job of slipping that hook and overhand right of uh, the champion because he's ducking right under it. And you've got to go down pretty low for that. But he's danced around the ring now, got on his bike, backpedaled, made Anton Rajic chase him, but he's dominating from the centre now. And uh, I'm uh, just got to say that the champion might be very frustrated at this point in this bout. You could see it in his eyes coming out there into this round. I think he was kind of having a a little bit of a rethink in his corner and maybe he's making some adjustments, but just becoming more aggressive might not be the only thing. Sherbridge is just a busier, more accurate striker here. And although Rochich isn't necessarily like a super high volume, mix it up everywhere type of striker, he's got to get that bread and butter going again. And for me in the first round, that was where it was at its best with the overhand right. But now Sherbridge has just become wise to that. And is at least two steps ahead at this juncture. Nice stick to the body there. That was good. Very nice. I think Antun Rachic is doing a lot better than he did in the second round, but he's still losing this round for I sure. I agree, I agree. And that first was close. I'm with you there, Chris. I mean, Sherbish definitely in the second. The first was close. I kind of had it for Rachic until maybe 30, 40 seconds left, and then Sherbish landed a good body kick and a, I think a left to the body. Oh, flipped in there. Well, he got rocked there. Sherbish lands the shot, and Rachic has never been known to go down from something like that, but he's never been known to deliver it. So it's survival now. The kick goes up. Sherbish hitting at will here, and uh, the champion under a lot of pressure. There's still two minutes left in this third round. It's a championship bout at five, and you've got to ask yourself the question. Sherbish here now on fire, but Whoa. he gets tagged there, and the champion knocks him down. Wow. It's a knockdown. Rachic now goes for the finish, headhunting here. Sherbish needs to keep focused here because he's hurt, he's in trouble. Rachic now looking to finish this possibly. He's gotta go for that overhand right again, Will. Sherbish is going for broke here, he's definitely hurt. Gets taken down beautifully. Rachic now where he wants to be. Sherbish rocked by that, looking at his corner. And Rachic needs to really step up a gear and take advantage of this. He's being held in that close guard. And Sherbish now, well, in a world of pain, he's in the hurt locker. That was chaos, man. That was chaos. Absolutely amazing. This is right here, the test for Sherbish right now. You know what I mean? This is the test. Can he get out of this? Out of this round, can he survive, get back, and get back to work? He's going two on one in that arm. He's going to try to pull him in for a triangle. Couldn't get it. Rachic is as uh, 
wily as they come in these positions. Now Pshirbidge looking to invert, maybe go for a leg. Can he get the leg entanglement here? I don't think so. I think Roch is going to just shut him down. What a crazy turn of events, you know what I mean? We just, we just saw two straights by Pshibish almost drop Rachich and all of a sudden Rachich comes back. Then he goes back Pshibish. to to two arms in on that triangle. Wow. Well, the tempo quieting down just a little bit now. Sherbish has had time to recover. But uh, this young fighter just got 20 seconds left to make it to the end of the round. But Rachic now has just turned the tables. That's the shift change. That's the dynamic that changes. And that's what you need against a champion. You can never write Rachic off. And uh, yet, although Sherbish was ahead going into the third, I think this is a game changer now for the whole bout. Well, the five. What a card, what a fight. Oh, man. Goosebumps. Christoph, I'm going to put you on the line. Who's winning? I got two to one. Antun Racic. So the recovery by the champion is back in the game. But Sherbish has got the tools. He's just so attritional, isn't he, Antun Racic? It is. It's like eating gravel. You're just never going to get anywhere with it. It's just... And look at him, he's back. We thought he was gone, but he's back. And that's the mark of a champion. You, you, I don't know. I think Bantamweight belt could stay in the Rachic household for a while, but Sherbidge is the man to do it if anyone can. You can never count him out. You can never count him out. This guy's a pit bull, just absolute monster. But this right here is the deciding round right here for Sherbidge. Is he the man now? You know what I mean? Did he be turned from a boy to a man? This is the round that's going to tell us that. No doubt about it. It'll be the first time he's seen the fourth in his career. For Rochich is where he usually just takes over every time. I mean, I can't remember the last time Rochich lost the fourth round. I can remember a time, like, for example, his last fight where against Bruno, I thought he lost the first for sure, but by now he was full throttle, pedal to the metal, just taking over. What a crazy fight. Wow. So the pride of Dubrovnik, the current KSW bantamweight champion, Successfully defended the title against Bruno Santos in his last outing. And he said he's not giving up the belt. But uh, Sherbish has come to look and uh, come to look for a win here. And avenge the only win that Rachic has on his career. That was two years ago. But uh, the pace has slowed down now and uh, it's a little bit frayed at the edges. I'm not surprised it slowed down. I mean, man, these three-round war so far. They've got to be tired. And those body shots are still landing from Shibish very, very well. And Anton Rachi is taking deeper and deeper and deeper breaths. Chris? Yeah, I mean, every time the right comes in, it's it's kind of classic Southpaw Orthodox, the outside foot position. And Shibish just, he seems to be getting caught still by that. You would have thought after the second he had made the adjustments, because he did, frankly. And then it all turned on a sixpence in the third. And he's still getting clipped a little bit here with it. Not flush yet, but... It's that awkward style of keeping your hands down. You know what I mean? Those hands never come back to your face ever after you finish the combo. Your head's got to get out of the way. And unfortunately, in the last round, the head didn't get out of the way. There's the level change down for the shoot. Anton Racic, will he be able to deliver this time? Sherbish defends it up there against it the wire. I don't think Racic will be able to pull it off, and he does. He takes the second leg, and down goes Sherbich. Now, this could be the hurt locker here, as this is Racic's office, without a doubt. Yeah, the plane definitely uh, is now more uh, over home territory. But you know what? Credit. Credit, credit, credit for Sherbich. The second his butt hit the mat, I mean, he was definitely thinking, right, I need to get up out of here. And he did so. He used the fence. You sense that he wants it, you know what I mean? You sense that he wants this more than anything. What a fight. What a fight. Rachic now, he's on the headhunt. And uh, just those boxing skills allows him to go down low. So we can advantage Ooh. of the takedown. Hear that? <laughs> that was an offside shot, unintentional, but uh, it's the second one we've seen tonight. Knock, knock, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a Literally, knock for sure. I could hear the uh, the reverb in the room here. That was an uncomfortable tap south of the border. Solid cup he's wearing. 
So a little chance for a breather, unintentional. Referee Thomas Bronda, clock back on. Now, Sherbish looking just a little bit more fresh and crisper in his approach. A minute left in this fourth round. Rajic with those short hooks. Sherbish says, bring it on. But Rajic so dangerous, close in. And then um, Sherbish needs to get that guard up because that chin is just too ripe a cherry. Hanging on for Rajic not to want to have a go. Double knee strike. And uh, Rajic has to eat that patella. Man, Rajic is just biting down on his mouthpiece and charging in. I mean, Sherbish, it seems when he leans forward and is kind of squatting, he's susceptible to that left hook. And he's still getting tagged with the right. Oh, there we go. Back take here, potentially. A little roll through. Nice. But how often do we see this? Oh, we don't see this. Almost looked like a slip there by Rachich to fall on the floor like that and then got his back taken and rolled. Yeah, he kind of Granby rolled. So too little, too late. Whatever his head coach, Grzegorz Jakubowski, is doing in that corner, he's doing it well. He's a legendary, one of the Polish legends of MMA, built this sport. Well, there's the sign of respect. They both embrace each other in respect and honor as we go into the fifth and final round of this championship bout. The bantamweight title strap at stake here in this co-main event, which could well become the fight of the night. Champion Anton Racic takes on contender Sebastian Sherbish. Probably close to call with Racic slightly ahead, but it could end because Sherbish is a finisher. And, uh, well, anything can happen. This is MMA, but this is the fifth and final round. And there's the double takedown. And wow. look at that from nowhere. Sebastian Sherbish. Double takedown, powerful, and it's very rare you see that. Impressive. That was massive. Impressive. That was massive. That was such a key moment in the fight, in a fight that very well could be tied up. He has to capitalize here. Look at that. Point scored, though. Point scored. He's up in this round. It's tagged there, and in the exchange, needs to be very careful. Southport versus Orthodox. It's not thrown Rachic at all here. And then, look at the step in to put the power. He covers the distance, Rachic. A little ball change and a step, and then again, the takedown. And Rachic hangs on in there. Sherbish on form tonight. I mean, he's smart. dangerous in this fifth round. Very, very smart. Rachic trying to stuff the head, trying to shrimp and recover guard, or he's got to use that explosive frame and get right back up like he did a moment ago. The last thing you want to do is accept this. I mean, look, Sherbish did get him down on twice, but he hasn't really done anything with it yet, so this round is still up for grabs. Riding time, at least. There's some riding time, you know, being on the bottom. You never win a fight from the bottom, and rachet has got to get up, and the more time he spends on the bottom, the less time he's, got to the less time he's going to win. Great control from Sherbish. Very, very close indeed. And uh, we knew it would be an attritional affair with Rachic. He's a five round merchant. And, uh, he's not going to want to give the belt up too easily here. Sherbish has to come. You have to come to beat a champion because if it's still too close, you know, a champion just has a little bit of leverage in the judges' scorecards minds. You know, you've got to come and mean to show that you can take the belt. Sherbish has certainly done that, but just look at the escapology there from Rachic. And I mean, he's almost, almost like a hedgehog. He just rolls into a ball, doesn't he, when he shrimps. But that roll out there just is a complete defense, isn't it? What do you do? Yeah, proper Ninja Turtle style, man. Really good. I mean, this is such a great fight. I feel like if this continues, it'll be a 10-9 round for Sherbish. But maybe it's, uh, too little, too late, especially if Anton was up from that first round. Crazy, man. Talk about putting it all on the line. I mean, these guys have used so much energy. Nobody playing it safe. They're really both going for it. I mean, it was toe-to-toe. -to -toe. 
Now at this stage, Sherbish can afford to throw caution to the wind. And uh, Rachic turtling up. Oh, look at this. He's got, he's got the back and Sherbish won't let this go, but Rachic can defend this. Oh, well, this is dangerous territory now. Sherbish got locked on. He's got the body triangle. Has the champion got enough to defend this? There's still a minute left in this round. Sherbish has the champion's back. And Rachic now fighting in there for the championship and his life. And uh, if Sherbish can get that right arm into position across the neck of the champion. No, he's gone for the left and that was the decoy. Oh, this is a real, real dangerous situation now. Hard to call at this stage, but can he defend this, Chris? He's doing the right thing so far. This was one of my big X factors in the fight, was the jiu-jitsu of Sebastian Cherbish. It's very good. Well, it's going to need to be. The triangle's on, and uh, Rachic, just look at him defend. It's Houdini-like, the escapology here. He's got the clock counting down. He's got 20 seconds. That's all the time that he's got that Cherbish must use. And look at Rachic. He escapes yet again. I mean, what do you do? And Sherbish wasted time there with that. That was tomfoolery. There's the 10-second clapper. He could have finished this fight in the time. Not going to have the chance to do it, and that's the end of this bout. The winner. And new KSW Bantamweight Champion of the World, Sebastian. Yeah. Christoph Sajunski called it right here on the commentators. Thank you.